Dr. Beth Wetzke here, and I am going to be talking about boosting your thyroid for weight loss today. Yay! Who doesn't love that? Who doesn't love this fantastic information? I'm actually going to make sure that this is shared with enough people right out of the gate because it's really, really important to do um, when we're talking about thyroid issues. This is something that I um, really get a ton of questions on. So many women are you know, are just frustrated, struggling, and wondering how they can, you know, boost their thyroid or work with their thyroid with, you know, nutrition or getting the best result for their metabolism. Um, because your thyroid is actually in charge of your metabolism. Yes, your thyroid's in charge of your metabolism. So when you are struggling, when you are frustrated, when you're like, ugh, how do I, how do I do this? My, I have thyroid issues or some women that I've chatted with, they've had thyroid cancer. They have, um, had part of their thyroid removed. Their, their thyroid is underperforming or has overperformed and then is now underperforming. Oh, what do I do with thyroid? Ah! Here are some really basic things to focus on for your thyroid. So if you know someone that has thyroid issues, please share this video with them. There's a share button right there on the bottom. You can click and say, share this video. I would love and appreciate that. That way more women can get help with their thyroid in terms of getting the right nutrition. So first things first with thyroid is that of course, see a professional and get guidance because it's important and thyroid can be tricky. Another thing about thyroid is that it's a hormone and, and it works by negative feedback systems. So it takes time. Now that can be a really frustrating thing. It takes time for the thyroid to kind of come around again and really work properly. So, but if you know that going into it, you know to like be patient with your body, be patient and let it respond. Give it the time it needs to respond properly. Otherwise you're gonna be jumping from thing to thing to thing to thing thinking, oh, why isn't this working? Well, you didn't give it enough time to actually have it work. So hormones take at least three months that's a long time. So give it the right kind of time and then you'll be pleased with the results that you get. A couple of basic things. Make sure you're boosting your nutrients. When you are having hormonal issues, it can be very depleting for the body. What does that mean? It means that your body struggles every day. It'll get fatigued very quickly and easily. Your immune system will decrease, which means you're going to get sick a lot easier. So boosting your nutrients, and this is all nutrients. So boosting your proteins, boosting, boosting your healthy fats, making sure you're getting the right amount of carbs. I don't want to say no carbs, but the right amount of carbs for you to boost your nutrients. Those are macronutrients. Now micronutrients are things like vitamins and minerals. Very, very important to keep the rest of your body systems going at the rate that they should, because if you're having a thyroid issue, it's, it's just going to be a fight. So boost your nutrients. Um, also, side note with nutrients, oftentimes people who have thyroid issues find that they actually do better with a gluten-free diet. Why is that? Because gluten is very inflammatory, specifically for the thyroid. So whether or not you have to be gluten-free all the time or, you know, maintain that lifestyle long-term, you know, whatever. But being gluten-free for a period of time while your thyroid is getting better or you're trying to really work with it can be, provide you with some amazing results. Another thing to kind of check over is detoxing heavy metals. Oftentimes heavy metals will damage the thyroid and decrease thyroid productivity. So as you're trying to do that, spending some time detoxing heavy metals from your body. If you have questions on this, you message me, connect with me. I'd be more than happy to go over with you some healthy, significant protocols that make a difference in this. But detoxing these heavy metals are going to be important in getting your thyroid to function at its best. The last thing I'm going to mention is adaptogens. Now there are specific adaptogens that work with your body, that work with your hormones, specifically thyroid, that are going to help you get the best kind of results. One of them is ashwagandha. So let me just write that down really quick. Ashwagandha, it's one of my favorites actually, because it does a lot for female hormones as well. Um, that's why it's my favorite, but ashwa, that's an A. Ganda. There. Just have to write backwards a little bit. Facebook Live is backwards. So um, ashwagandha is one of my favorites overall, and it does wonderful things for thyroid and thyroid hormone. So um, you can order them online. Sometimes you can find them at a natural food store. If you have questions about the right kind of ashwagandha for you, you know, again, message me, comment below, 
whatnot, and I'd be more than happy to um, recommend a great ashwagandha supplement for you. But these are the few basic things to get your thyroid going. There's so many people who are trying healthy things. Awesome. Try some new things, try some new routines, um, you know, get on the bandwagon of, oh, I'm going to be healthy in 2017. Yay. Totally do it. Yes. I'm all about it. But if you have underlying issues, you're going to get a different result and it's going to be a different timeline for you. Things like this, having this information is going to be a game changer. So everybody, I hope you're having a great new year's. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate and then share this video for people who really need the information and I will see you guys later.